All right, boys and girls, this is Monk and Circular Distance, a problem which I'm sure you've all solved before. It's a fairly standard geometry problem. The only thing is they've converted it into a coding question. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, we can see the question, Monk and Circular Distance. It's time for yet another challenge. And this time, it's been prepared by none other than Monk himself for the super hardworking programmers like you. So this is how it goes. You're given n points. They're located on the coordinate plane. The ith point is denoted by xi, yi. It's a two-dimensional Cartesian plane. And each point is xy. It has x and y coordinates. In the ith query, you will be given an integer ri. And assuming that you draw a circle centered at the origin with radius ri, you need to report the number of points lying inside or on the circle. So how are we going to solve this? Here we can see there are five points. These are the x, y coordinates. The first thing we're going to do is calculate their distances from the center. How are we going to do that? There's a direct formula which we can use. That's root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. In this case, we're going to be calling x2 x and x1 is 0 because it's the distance from the origin. So the formula is root over x square plus y square. And now we're going to be comparing those distances with these two queries. These two queries are the radii from the center. In order to make it quicker, what we will do is sort the distance array. After we calculate the distances, we're going to sort that array. And then we're going to search for each of these radii values. We're going to find their positions in that sorted array. We're going to point to the number just greater than that radius. That means every number less than that is going to be within the circle. So we'll return that index. This time we're going to try something new. I'll be coding it out here and I'll explain what each line of code does on the left half of the screen. First, we're going to have a distance array that holds the distances. Now we're going to iterate through the first input. This input is going to be five. So this for loop runs five times. We're going to be storing them in x, y. It's going to be map of their integer values. Input dot split. So now we've taken the first point in, that is one, one. We've got to calculate its distance and put that value inside our distance array. So we're going to say d dot append x into x plus y into y. Now, if we calculate root over x square plus y square, we're going to be dealing with fractional values. It's a lot easier to deal with integer values. So instead of comparing r with root over x square plus y square, we'll square both sides of the equation. We'll compare r square with x square plus y square. That's going to be a lot easier and a bit faster as well. When two comes in, two square plus two square gets added into our distance array. That's eight. When three comes in, it's 18 and so on. Now that that array has been constructed, we have to sort it. This takes a time of n log n. Now we've got to iterate through our query. This is our next input. That's because we've already read everything up until here. So our next input is two. We run a for loop two times. We'll just store that input inside a variable called r. And remember, we have to square r. That's because we haven't put a root over x square plus y square. And the first thing we do is check if r is greater than length of d minus one, we print the length of d. What does this mean? Since our array is sorted, the last element is the furthest possible distance. If r is greater than the furthest possible distance, everything has to be in that circle. If that's not true, all we do is print search of d comma, our key will be r. And we've got to define this search function which has one array and one key. Now, it's a standard binary search. 
SI is going to be zero. The last index is going to be the length of the array minus one. While SI is less than LI, what do we do? We define mid. Mid is integer division, SI plus LI by two. If key, key is greater than or equal to ARR of mid, that means it's in the latter half of the array or we've landed on that element. So what do we have to do? We have to say SI is mid plus one. If that's not true, all we do is say LI is mid. Once this entire loop is done, SI will be pointing to the element that's just greater than the key. So we return SI and see if this works. Samples have been passed and when we hit submit, every input has been accepted. Let's also try to calculate the complexity of the program. D dot sort takes a complexity of n log n. Search takes a complexity of log n, but that's inside a for loop. That will also be n log n. So the final complexity will be n log n, which is not very slow at all. Guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you like the animations, explaining the code with the animations side by side. If you like this new concept, I haven't seen it done before. If you like this new concept, make sure hit those thumbs ups, plus three buttons on your screen right here. And I'll see you all next time.